Okay, in this video we're just going to look at how we can update the firmware on the DJI Mini 3 Pro and this works for um, most DJI drones if you're using the, the RC handset. So what we've done is switched on the drone, obviously take the gimbal cover off, give a bit of room for the props and on the display here it's told us that we've got this uh, firmware update ready to install. And the reason for that is because we're connected over Wi-Fi. If you're not connected over Wi-Fi, you're not going to get these um, sort of prompts. So now and then on the handset, just make sure that you do connect to your, your Wi-Fi network. So you just have to switch it on. You will have done this initially to set up the drone, but if you're in a different place or you need to um, reconnect it because you're on a new Wi-Fi network, just hit the cog up in the corner, network and internet, and then under here, you'll be able to come in and add a new network if you need to. Uh, it should be a case of just being able to jump straight onto it, like I say, if you're on the same Wi-Fi that you set it up on. So you can either hit install there, or what we can also do is if we go into GoFly, you've got these dots up in the corner, which you probably can't see there. Um, and if we go to, uh, sorry, under about the last one, you can see here we've got the different options so we've got the rc firmware which we updated in a different video which I'll, I'll link to and then we've got the the aircraft firmware which we can hit check for updates and we know there's one because we've already seen it so we can come in and we can just hit update there and then we can just come down to here and hit install and you can see it's it actually got part way through before so it's done 40 percent of it um and then for whatever reason it disconnected so it's it's continuing on from where it was but i'll um i'll stop here and i'll just speed up the video okay and you can hear our drones just restarted itself so i was just clearing the props and just showing you the the lights that they are going on there and you can see we're we're almost done it's just finishing up the installation so it's restarted the drone and we're nearly there and also you can see you know if, if you hadn't seen this bit before it just tells you what the update's about so this one is um, additional support for uh, DJI goggles which I don't have but I always want my aircraft RC and batteries always to be on the latest firmware so it doesn't particularly matter what the update's for I'm always going to install it if there's a firmware update there I'm going to install it regardless so um, I'd, I'd sort of recommend really the same And at this stage of it, it's important that, you know, it's been stuck on 91 for a little bit, but it's important that you just kind of leave it to install. Sometimes it it needs to reset the drone. Sometimes it's um, just, just doing updates within the um, within the controller. Either way, you, you just got to let it, um, let it go. The, um, the drone's just restarted itself again now. So it was just doing an update of the drone and you can hear it's just restarted. So now, but it was stuck on 91 and now it's done this reboot it should just sort of jump on again so don't ever think that it, it's just kind of broken it's it's just the case that it's um it will be doing a reboot or just installing something so you've just got to be patient with it and you can see it's jumped on again to 94 it will just be finalizing the update and then you can see that the update successful and the um the actual drone itself has just switched itself off now so that's just de uh, disconnected and what we can do is just jump out of here because that's done the firmware is installed and then we can just restart like i say make sure the props are clear so don't hit anything and then we should see when we connect So you can see it's disappeared from here. We haven't got that anymore. And if we go to go fly, hit the three, oh, hit the three options up there, hit about. And then if we go to the aircraft firmware, you can see our firmware is up to date. So we're fully up to date now. So um, yeah, that that's it. It's uh, like I say, it's worth just coming in periodically and just, just checking that there's no firmware updates. Some of them have got useful new features. Some of them, you know, like I say, there's stability fixes or they might be for um, accessories you don't have. But 
I'd always just come in and update them. So hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe to the channel.